Well, I might have got a little distracted last week training for MCC. My team got third place, by the way, so worth it. But I can't help but feeling like I have missed something uh, here on the server. It seems there's a bit of a, a mess of eggs and random chickens about. Not to mention whatever this is, a buttercup headquarters. And uh, there's a toilet. It's always handy. And who could miss this? <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Now who doesn't love themselves some word art, really? So it seems I have inadvertently kicked off what may end up being another war here on the server. And you're probably wondering, why Why do I think I had any reason to be part of this or was responsible for kicking it off? Well, if you remember correctly, I was the one pushing Green to do the back of his base when... He didn't want to do it, so him and Scar went and, and messed with Doc's tunnel bore over there, which I believe kicked off this entire little thing, scuffle that they got going on. So, yeah, I did it again. Inadvertently, of course. Who would have known that it was going to lead to what it's led to? But I can't help but feeling a bit responsible, and uh, maybe, maybe I need to step in and, I don't know, try to bring peace to the situation? I mean, this can't keep going on, can it? I suppose while I try to decide if I'm going to get involved, I might as well hang out in my my little camel sanctuary and sniffer sanctuary a little bit and see if they'll bring me any goodies. Which is exactly what I was doing the other day when I discovered something odd. I was streaming and in the middle of my stream, suddenly I heard a little bit of music coming from this direction. And lo and behold, look at what we have found. <laughs> I believe this was left from the Empire's crossover. That is Ollie, our friend from Empires. And um, he has left a, a sign. Take this block and don't forget me, the bard. And down here, there's a, there's a, there's a piece of, of a plank on, on a thing. And then if I take this, I know exactly what happens because, well, I'm the one that showed him how to make this thing. So, yep. Attention, there it goes. Please. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? Will the real sheriff please stand up? I, re I repeat, will oh, the real I just sheriff stood up. <laughs> I'm not the real up? sheriff. Oh. We're gonna have a problem. You guys want to hear the whole thing, don't you? I'll put it at the end of the episode. How's that sound? <laughs> it's fantastic, though. An amazing rap from Ollie. And uh, we were jamming out to it on stream, I tell you. And it kind of makes me wonder, like, is that a unique item? That record, is that a unique item that maybe, like, Cleo or Cub would want in their museum? Maybe we could have ourselves a little bargaining chip. Speaking of unique items, I've got a few here in the base. Noodles, which if you remember, we won from B-Dub's game. I was able to bring him over here, got him named, of course. Uh, remember, we were, we were going to noodle on it. Yeah, so his name is Noodles. I don't think he really belongs here, though. Like a horse inside of a dwarven keep doesn't, I don't know, doesn't feel like he fits in here. So maybe we'll take him over to the camel sanctuary or something. And also this showed up. Look at this. We got second place in False's Elytra course. I believe Grian got first place by just a m couple milliseconds or so. It was a close one. But look at this. We got a bunch of goodies from False as well. So that's very nice. Always appreciate a few extra diamonds. Which, if I'm honest, I mean, we are stacking up. I did collect some from the shops the other day, and look at this. We've almost got three stacks of diamond blocks. We are, we're coming along. We're, we're, we're pretty rich here. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. We've only got that first crown. We need to check on the button. Still in the green. Oh, I guess we have some... Some waiting to do. We'll keep checking on it throughout the course of this episode. Yeah, if we have the patience, if you get it on purple, you actually get one of each, right? So it might be worth the wait. So what do we want to do today? I'm starting to feel good about getting back in the groove here after being on vacation and distracted by MCC. And I think I'm actually excited once again to get working on the Dwarven Keep. Our last big project was this wing over here, which if I'm honest was a little too big. I mean, it was a lot of digging, a lot of block placing, and I may have gotten just a tad burnout out during the build. Uh, but now I'm back, I'm feeling good, and I think it's time to tackle another wing. I wanna put in a forge, because, you know, if the dwarves are we're gathering all these materials from below and we're bringing them up and we, we got all these good stuff, we should be forging our own weapons and stuff, right? So that 
needs a space. And this space right here, I think would be absolutely perfect. Man, you know, I might want to keep this horse here. Actually, it's kind of fun. So we're going to chip away at this. And the first step, I got to remove this water curtain and see what kind of space we're dealing with there. All right, all right, this isn't bad. We've got ourselves quite the space right here. And luckily for us, we only had to do a little bit of digging to make room for this forge because a lot of this was already cleared out. In fact, we got a nice little lush cave directly underneath here. And, uh, oh, free uh, glow squid ink if I want to go down there. Anyway, now that this is cleared out, I got a couple materials tucked in the corner over here. And, um... I'm ready, guys. I'm excited. It is time to get started on the Forge Wing of the Dwarven Keep. All right, we're making a little bit of progress here. We've got the floor now in, and you can see the smoke rising from the back here. That's because this is where the actual forge is going to go. You know, we're going to have a bunch of lava and fire, as you would expect in a forge, because that's kind of how forges work, right? We need to heat up the metals, and then we need to pound them into the shape that they're going to be into, you know, whether it's weapons or tools. And then after that, they need to get cooled down. So you can see we got the elements of water in here. And then off to the sides, this is basically where we can start to do uh, more manipulation of the, the tools and weapons. We can start to put enchantments on them. In fact, I want to bring in a couple enchantment tables as well. And over on this side, we've got another setup. So, of course, we can have multiple weapons and tools being worked on at the same time. And we've kind of accentuated our, our gold over here, right? Our dwarves' love for gold is being shown. And then, of course, my love for redstone over here. And I think it's going to fit the vibe perfectly. But next up... We've got to put the actual forge in. we got to get a bunch of lava, and it's going to brighten this place up as well, which I'm looking forward to. So, let's get building. The forge is coming along quite nicely, I must say so myself. Actually took a while, quite a lot of details in this, and I love the vibe. The smoke coming out, our little vat of, of lava here for uh, melting the metals so that we can shape them. And um, yeah, it's it's just, it's, it's amazing. I, we've of course got to do the, the ceiling and the side walls for these sections as well. So more work to do, but I mean... I think that's enough building in here for today. Like I said earlier, I do not want to get burnt out, but I do want to do a couple of little small little details that we have yet to put in. I grabbed some enchanting tables, and so these can go in each corner here. I got to leave my little mess of shulker boxes and stuff since we have a lot more building to do. So I'm going to leave that there for now. And I was thinking this could use a few details as well this little bit right here so and maybe if we put some candles in give it a little extra light and then it doesn't do a lot but it's nice ambiance and then i was also thinking what if we start to bring this place to life with some armor stands and maybe we could put some like really cool armor trim on the armor stands i mean that would be one heck of a flex wouldn't it <laughs> to be putting trim armor on these armor stands as decoration uh yeah we're gonna be going through some some diamonds and, and netherite and stuff to do that but like i said i think it's i think it'd be a kind of a cool flex so here's what i'm thinking we'd put the the yellow over here right black candles over there you know gotta stay on brand and then basically on the other side 
we'll just mirror it. You know, we'll do the same exact thing. So a couple more enchantment tables, handles, and of course the armor stands. There we go. Perfect. They're going to look so good once we get, you know, the beards and the and the armor trim on them. I think they're going to look fantastic. But yeah, this is coming along. I can't wait to finish it. But like I said, uh, I I think I'll save the, the roof and the sidewalls maybe for, for next episode just so that we can, we can chip away at it. It is quite the build. I mean, not as big as the other wing that we did, but it still was... Quite a bit of building, and we did have to dig out a little bit too. So, uh, while I was building that, I, I, I heard through the grapevine that uh, the little the little scuffle that's been going on between Doc M and, and Ren and, and and Green and Mumbo and Scar, I heard it it kind of escalated a little bit, and um, I've been thinking about whether or not I should get in the middle of this, get involved at all. But uh, I, I think maybe we should go over and survey the damage that's been done since I was last over there. Uh, but before we do, let's take a quick commercial break. Recently, I went on a trip to Tahiti. It really was a magical place. And when the time came to fly back home, I found myself stuck in the Tahiti airport with five hours to kill before my flight was going to board. So I went to Netflix to find something to pass the time, but I got a pop-up saying I needed to connect to the Wi-Fi in order to stream a movie or show. Luckily for me, the airport offered a free public Wi-Fi, but once I got connected, all the movies and shows I wanted to watch were no longer showing up on Netflix. That's because Netflix shows you different shows depending on the country you're in. So I got the bright idea. I used ExpressVPN to route my data through a server in the US right from my smartphone, and problem solved. All the movies and shows were back. I always get a little excited when I find a new reason to love ExpressVPN after using it for all these years. On top of helping to keep my data private online or helping me fix connection issues to gaming servers, ExpressVPN has come in super clutch for unlocking region-based content for me, especially when the region I'm in changes. And not just when I'm traveling, but even when I'm at home. Simply by switching my location, I can explore international libraries on all my favorite streaming services and get thousands of new shows like Rick and Morty on France Netflix or even Ghostbusters on Italy Disney+. Plus. So if you're like me and you're looking to unlock region-based content, protect yourself online, fix routing issues to your favorite gaming servers, or all of the above, consider trying ExpressVPN. And as a gift to all of you, my amazing viewers, you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash impulse. I'll put a link in the description below so you can tap that and start protecting yourself today. Now, let's get back to some Hermitcraft. Well, as I approach the perimeter, the first thing I see is a butterfly. <laughs> Looks like a flying machine and also TNT duplicator, which means, yeah, probably some carnage down below. I believe over here, this is where they had their robots hidden in that barn there and in this this pot here. And yeah, they charged at each other and it looks like, unfortunately, one was like completely <laughs> annihilated. And I believe, oh, there's holes in the ground from all the, the TNT blasting that was happening. Yeah, this place is a bit of a mess. I think that's the goat, right? That, that was the goat. Anyway, it, 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 yeah, what a disaster. <laughs> What a disaster! They went at each other. I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, if if that resolved anything really. I think it was probably just to you know have robots and TNT because who doesn't enjoy that, right? <laughs> but I believe they are still a little cross with each other for everything that's been going on. So I kind of feel like maybe I should go like dad mode and step in and, and try to try to mediate, you know, and, and, and try to help them resolve their issues but on the same hand say on the other side that's kind of that's kind of boring right like maybe, maybe we should we should escalate it even further for you know for for fun <laughs> i don't know uh, but you know how it is decisions are hard i i don't know about you guys but i really struggle making decisions so when it comes to whether or not i should get involved maybe i shouldn't uh i shouldn't have to make the choice maybe i should leave it up to chance but in order to do that i'm gonna need one of these and some of these. And then we just need to find the perfect spot. And then build ourselves a little dome. Because this is where it's going to happen. On the inside of this dome, we're going to be making decisions. That's right. This is the decision dome. Totally didn't steal that from MCC. So how's it going to work? We are going to use the power of the dragon egg because you guys have seen it. Anytime somebody punches the dragon egg, it simply just teleports around and it does so in a 31 by 31 by I think 15 vertical area. And it can only do that if there's air blocks. So that's why we're underwater because it's all water. And uh, hopefully, hopefully there's no 
No air blocks underneath us, but we're going to find out. We are going to put down a little decision-making station. So here's what's going to happen. We've got to put down a yes and a no. So we'll say that represents yes and that represents no. And now when we put our dragon egg on here, what we need to do is actually make sure it has two air blocks, one there and one there. And that's actually going to be a little bit tricky, I think, given this situation. All right, I had to use my brain a little bit. Gotta admit, was a little bit painful. And uh, yeah, you can see I, I took the beard off. I needed my underwater helmet for all the all the stuff we're doing here. But that does mean we are ready to ask our first question. You see what I did here? I made a little thing I can walk into. And uh, there's air there. There's air there. And of course, I'll block the egg is on. And then um, all these should be safe because I got the trapdoors in. Pretty smart, right? Yeah, big brain. Big brain on me. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and ask our first question. And, uh, you know, let's, let's start with something easy. D does Impulse look funny without his beard? Yes or no? Oh, <laughs> there it went. It went to the yes. Okay. Um, I think this is working. All right. Now to reset it. I guess we just punch it until it goes back to the middle. You can see it's like trying to teleport. There it goes. Okay. It's back to the middle. All right. Now it's time to ask the big question. Should Impulse get involved in the prank war? Oh, it's another yes. Well, there you have it, everybody. Uh, we, we've, we've left our decision to chance, and it said we should get involved in the prank war. So maybe we should. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. What what should we do? How should we get involved? Should we should we bring peace? Should we bring chaos? Maybe a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Let me know what you guys think. If you got any ideas on how we can get involved, any shenanigans that we can get up to, I'd love to hear it. Oh, and I'm apparently out of my, my water breathing, so I'll take another one. I absolutely love this. I think I'm going to use this for a lot more. You know what I mean? Like, like should, should I get a cheeseburger today? Okay, I really like this machine. Although I, I am getting a little nervous because all we've gotten is yes answers. Maybe we should ask something that we actually kind of want the no answer on. Uh, let's see. Should I end this episode right now? There you go. <laughs> right through the no. <laughs> I guess that works too. That's right. We can't end the episode right now. I promised you guys I would play you the full rap. Remember the, the disc that we found? Ollie, Orion Sound made and hidden in the Hermitcraft world, and we stumbled across it during the live stream? I think I promised you guys that footage, didn't I? All right. Here you go. Weird way to say that. Uh... May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Will the real sheriff please stand up? I, I repeat, will the real sheriff please stand up? We're gonna have a problem. Oh, well. You're back like you've never seen a sheriff's hat before. Blocks all over the floor and slam Jim bust to the door. Always the disrespect was a damn before. So where you gotta throw him? That's right in the jail, of course. Humpy Town was just a mesa before he roll in the town. A mesa thinks it's got a rail in a saloon that is brown. No love break is found. It's got some lovely clouds, and if you're not PG, he'll bring his gun butt around. Give the guys love big sheriff, but they swing and they miss. Bing, 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 Timmy. I want you kids for sausage and Joel. I don't have time for this, but time for your kiss. My only love is the losses. Talking about Bing, it's time for Christmas joy. He gets at least one day where he's not a toy. So for now, he's big and strong. He's definitely a real boy. Wait, it's Andy! Nah, I'm just kidding. He's Jim Sheriff. Yes, he's the real sheriff. All your other Jim Sheriffs are just imitating. So I'm the real sheriff. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Yeah, he's the Jim Sheriff. Yes, he's the real sheriff. All your other Jim Sheriffs are just imitating. So I'm the real sheriff. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Oh! Merry Christmas. <laughs> what? We found it! How do I stop? How do I stop this plague? Oh no. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh the world, we found it, guys! What? I've been I've been hanging out in this area. And that's the first time it's gone off. I wanna know where it is. I don't wanna dig it up though. No way. Yeah, we had we had some visitors, right? They wanted to come party. That was insane.